Adventures, Chris Budgets here with another video for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys are up to date on all of my content. If you guys are new, hi, hello, my name is Chris. I'm a mom, a wife, a worker bee, and we're out here at working and twerking so we can become debt free. Now today you guys, I have a different kind of video. I haven't done a Trader Joe's haul in so long and I have not been since my last video. If you guys want to catch up, my last video will be linked in the end card somewhere above, somewhere. But I wanted to share with you guys, oh it's this way babe, oh, but I wanted to share with, or the, no this way? This way, this way my husband said. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. Let me know down in the comments section below to see, um, let me know what your guesses are to see how much I spent at Trader Joe's. Now, it's a lot of frozen food. The reason I even decided to go to Trader Joe's was because one, my toddler was sleeping, and two, I had the time, so, and three, you guys, three, I actually checked our freezer in the garage, and we didn't have as much stuff in there. We needed some more things to stock up on. What's wrong, baby? Okay, so while my toddler gets a snack, let me show you guys what I got. Just let me know what you guys think, how much you think I spent in the comments below. Um, so let me do this bag first. So I got some baby corn. I'm trying to push more vegetables because you guys know Arya's a picky eater. Not that picky, but it's just the vegetables. She's not down with the vegetables. She's more of like a meat and potatoes kind of girl. I got a little salad kit. Well, actually, this is just chopped romaine lettuce. Um, and we have Caesar dressing and the other stuff. So I figured we would do that. This is for me. I got the gluten-free cheese ravioli. I heard this was really good, so I hope it's good. I also got some broccoli florets. And I actually don't normally get like the bagged broccoli or like the bagged vegetables, but this is all they had. I didn't see like fresh broccoli crowns. So I was not about to go to another grocery store for that. I got some of these little avocados. Oh no, yeah, avocado guacamole to go. So six packs of these. I usually bring that to work or eat it like as a snack. And then I wanted to try this pesto. This is a vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Pesto eggs, pesto pasta, pesto everything. And lastly in this bag I have some cucumbers, some little cucumbers. I love the mini cucumbers. They're crunchier, they're easier to dip stuff in, better for work, and you don't really have to chop them up. So I'm okay with less prep time. So moving on to our second bag. I already opened these on my way home. Don't judge me, but they, was, they were so good. So these are the gluten-free sour cream and onion lentil and rice rings. So good. I'm gonna have to save that for later. I got two of them and I'm so glad I did because you guys know everything at Trader Joe's goes so fast, especially when it's seasonal. Most of the stuff there is seasonal, so I got two of them. I also got some gluten-free English muffins. These are for me as well. Oh no, I forgot about these eggs. Okay, I got eggs. Let me see. Okay, they're still good, babe. Okay, none of them cracked. None of them cracked, so still good. I'm happy about that. Let me put these over here. I also got some coconut milk, well, coconut beverage, which I think would be really good with my chai tea latte that I've been making at home. I also got butternut squash soup. I feel like this is really good to transition into the fall cold weather. I got some steel cut organic oats and I'm so excited because I just need one more ingredient and I'm gonna try to make my own oat milk at home. What else do I have in here? I also have, I bought this again, I purchased this before. This is the crunchy chili onion oil and it's so good on like everything, like eggs and like rice and stuff. So I purchased this before and I just repurchased it. So it's a really good, you guys. And then I also got some pasta sauce, so creamy tomato basil sauce. This is, you know, just a regular pasta sauce. I got this fruit and vegetable wash, just to wash, you know, 
our fruits and veggies. So it's supposed to remove wax, pesticides, and chemicals. This is a really popular item. And I got a few of these. These are my favorite. These are the Go Macro Bars. These are so good. Um, I got the double chocolate peanut butter chip flavor, and then I also got my other, this is my favorite one, is the coconut almond butter and chocolate chips. I love the coconut in them. So these are like my faves. I always pack one for lunch for like an afternoon snack. And lastly, in this bag, I have my favorite the gluten-free cinnamon coffee muffins and these always sell out so i was so thankful sometimes my best friend goes to trader joe's and she will check if they have them so i'm just i'm glad that they have them but yeah are these already open or did this happen during packaging do you see this babe mm -hmm. but i think these um opened in here because when i got them they were closed so Luckily for me, I checked. And that's it for all of the things in the brown bags. Let me grab my big cooler bag over here. Okay, so we have my very last and my very large bag. So this is supposed to keep all like the frozen food cold. And if you hear any barking, I'm so sorry, you guys, the dogs are outside. You guys know I have four dogs and a toddler. Like it takes magic to make this work. So, let me show you guys what I got. So I wanted to try these. These are little fish nuggets. So you guys know what chicken nuggets are. These are fish nuggets. I don't know if these are new or not, but I really wanted to just try this and introduce it to Aria, see if she'll like it. She likes fish, so she does eat fresh fish, so that's good. But I just wanted to see, it could be like a nice option for an easy weeknight dinner. So hopefully these are good. And then we also have some prosciutto this is for my husband he loves this and i don't know if this is the right brand but i got it anyway hopefully it's good you know sometimes the charcuterie brands you know it just depends and then i also got some of this stuffed gnocchi it's stuffed with the tomato sauce and the cheese you guys have seen this before this is a staple we love this my daughter loves this throw in some you know some broccoli some sausage, some ground turkey or something. It's like a quick, easy meal. I bought two of them. I also got these. We've got these before. These are the mini beef tacos and they're gluten-free. So these are really good. It's just, you have to like put stuff on it. It's very plain. So like cheese, sour cream, salsa, guac, like, you know, you have to dress it up because um, it's not the best when it's by itself. It's very like basic. So if you like something basic, this might be for you, but it's so good when you like dress it up and put all the toppings on there, some onions and cilantro, like so good. What else? I got these steamed chicken dumplings. I love these and some broth, a quick, easy meal. I love this, so good. I love that like ginger taste. And then I also got some of these, and I haven't gotten these in a while. I, babe, I feel like the bag got smaller. Yes. The bag got smaller. I have one more of the original bag in the freezer, babe. Go grab that. Let me see if it got smaller. So I got two of these. These are the organic rice cauliflower. So like cauliflower rice. And these are good to mix into spaghetti and like literally like ground beef and stuff like taco meat or just like rice do we still have one babe or no i thought it would check the right side oh it's not the same one no yeah is, is that the stir fry one yeah i don't like that one that's why it's still in the freezer. Okay, I thought I had one more of the full packaging of this, but it's a different flavor. It's the stir fry cauliflower rice, which I didn't really, I didn't really like. But we do love these, so I got two of these.
I also got two of these. These are the chicken cilantro mini wontons. These are so good. You can put this with like make some soup, broth, or you can air fry them. So very versatile. Most of these are gonna be going in our freezer in the garage. Again, we're not gonna eat all this in a week and I'm probably not gonna go to Trader Joe's until like another like three or four months. So I know it seems like a lot of frozen food because it is, um, but we're not gonna be eating this like tonight. And then I also picked up some of these. These are the mandarin orange chicken. These go so fast, like they go so fast. Everyone loves these. Um, I, I think they're good. They're good over a bed of white rice. Add some broccoli, a little bit of green onion, call it a day, it's easy. So, yeah, I'll be right there. So I bought three of them and that's all that they had. That's all they had left. So I'm thankful I even got any because when I like was looking for them, they didn't have any and I just checked one more time and they had just refilled them and there was only three left. So let me know you guys in the comment section, have you been to a Trader Joe's? What's your favorite Trader Joe's? product oh never mind so another stuffed gnocchi i'll put it with the gnocchi and then lastly i got two of these this is my husband's favorite these are the unpasteurized orange juice it tastes so fresh it's so pulpy if you like that fresh tangy orange juice or whatever and they're definitely on the expensive side. I think these are like $5.99 or $6.99, but you guys know Mr. Budgets, he never asked for anything. These are his favorite, so I'm gonna get them. And that is it, you guys. That is it for our haul. And let me know what your favorite Trader Joe products are. Um, I was looking for the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream dupe that they had that I saw like everyone got, of course, the cream and then they came out with a scrub, but I was too late as per usual. I was too late and I wasn't able to catch any. I love watching Naturally Simone, um, who is Budget with Simone on Instagram, Naturally Simone here on YouTube and press and apply in the business world, okay? And she loves, like, she loves Trader Joe's too and I love watching her and her story, seeing what she gets. So she, she lives in New York, so she has like all of the best stuff over there, I swear. I swear she has like the best stuff and she gets all the cool stuff first. So that's it you guys, that's it for my Trader Joe's haul. Let me know what you guys wanna see. If you guys want a review of anything, just comment in my pinned comments. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.